lighter skin tone skin tone is over here towards the white we've got plenty of blue pigment that is migrating through here so really we just need to add white and yellow and uh, come up with uh, the next uh, creamy tone don't want to go too light just yet uh, let's test this and see digit behind the tip of this finger. Now under the knuckle, there's a bit of a shadow there. right behind the nail. Let's so make sure I keep yellow in it in that too much red right now. Same as we did when we worked the face. Alright, now we'll work the tip of this finger. Next one. Immediately blend with the wet paint I touch with the brush. Paint coming off the brush. And um, be careful filling in the areas. Um, and you don't want to spill into the dark and start making these digits look bigger than they are. Shadows keep them confined. Now, behind this digit is a sh it's shaded. And right behind the cuticle up against the knuckle, it's shaded. Okay, now we'll go to the next digit. On the side of the finger of this digit, it's shaded. You know, circular. And quickly blend with the wet shadow tone already on the canvas and behind this digit behind the knuckle touching the background it's shaded and when I touch the background I blend a little bit with it to make the edge of the finger soft and blend with the shadow looks a little bit shaded here should be a shadow cast down from the finger above. Now between the two fingers, oh here's another digit actually, just a sliver of it. You got the first, the second, and then here's the third, and you just sort of get a slight view of it. And then here are skin folds as the finger is curled over creases in the skin between the fingers back of the hand there it's shaded very slightly but this area there's light shining in and then that makes that reminds me that I see up here also a bit of the next digit of the index finger while I'm in this area I notice the first digit of the thumb and it's shaded that's the thumb somewhat hidden behind the handle here's the knuckle behind the knuckle it's shaded of skin.
grabbing out of the palm, following the creases. More folds. Some more creases in the wrist. Some more here. Gets lighter down below the wrist on the arm, it gets lighter. Now, on the inside on the palm, let's see around this finger. Okay, well, we'll return up to this next finger and repeat the process we did for the other digits. This is the tip of the finger under the nail and then the underside of this digit. Go in a circle. This is behind the knuckle. And then over to the other side, the far side. Here it blends, the color seems to fade with the inside of the palm. And I did that by adding a little blue pigment. Alright, this is the next digit and go behind that knuckle. And uh, here's a fold, a bit of skin coming up to the pinky. This is between the two fingers. That's the ring band, that little sliver. We'll leave that for now. It's to kind of remind us about it. I think I can shade it up here, I just noticed, right up to the background and up against the handle of the parasol. There's the first digit up there against the nail, and then, you know, it's a circle, and there's another circle. Shaded below. side of the finger is a bit more shaded than the, than the other side. And then next digit. That way we, we preserve this puffiness to each digit. Creases. This goes up to the knuckle, 
This is a knuckle, actually. A little lighter here on the side. I'll just pull in some white from the background, lighten up this edge. Just some creases in the skin. The fingers curling over. And now this puffy area, skin inside the palm, up against the shadow under the finger. Mm -hmm.